Hello everyone, so today we're going to be opening up all the stuff that I bought from uh, Japan, from Akihabara. And we'll start with the small ones and then we'll work our way up to the big one over here, okay? So first of all, I want to open the Nendroids. So we've got Shiro over here and we also have Aqua. So Aqua was very difficult to find. She's uh, She came out back in 2016 and there was no re-release. Shira, on the other hand, just got a re-release like two months ago. So she was very easy to find. So uh, yeah, I'm going to open them up and uh, check them out. I've never actually had an Android before. So here we go. We've got little Nendroid Shiro. Oh wow, so it's a No Game No Life uh, novel. So you can see here, I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what any of it says, but I'm sure it's a novel. It's nice how the instructions are in English and Japanese. So here we go. We have little Shiro with her phone. Took a very long time to set up because I don't know what I'm doing. Shiro, you're gonna stay like this for now. And then you can stay right here. Since you guys, since I'm recording on this camera, I'm just going to take a picture of her here. And you can see her in all her glory with a really horrible backdrop. But it's okay. So that's Shiro. Next up is Aqua. We're going to open up Aqua over here. This is very rare, very difficult to find. All right. So there we go. We've got Aqua running. She's like, help me. Oh my God. It took a while to fix her up too, but uh, yeah, I like this one. We're gonna keep this one over here. I think because Aqua's an older series, like, well, it was just harder to like fit the pieces in. Or maybe it's just because it's old, I don't know. But here again is another picture that I'll post up now of Aqua and Shiro. She also has a little staff over here. I should probably make her hold the staff actually. I'll make her hold the staff. Now she's got her staff, and she's running, and she's panicking, and it's great. Let's take another picture of this and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, next up, we've got a Figma. So we've got an Aqua Figma over here. She's also got her panicking face. I'm going to make her in this pose for sure. Again, it's got Japanese and English, so it's really convenient. Tells you how everything works. I don't know, I think I prefer Nendroids actually over the Figmas. Figmas are really sharp. Like the hair part, like over here, it's actually really sharp. Oh, nice! So the nice thing about the Figmas is they give you a nice a little plastic bag so you can put all the little extra pieces in this bag. Good Smile should learn this. Should take, you know, a page out of this book. Because when you open the regular ones, like when you open like the Good Smile ones, there's like a whole bunch of little accessories that I don't know, I don't know where I'll put it. So that's pretty cool. Or may, maybe they do give something? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big collector guy. This is like my first set of figurines. Oh, this is really nice too. Like look at what Max Factory did. Yeah, it looks a little bit freaky, but they've made like a little thing where you can put all the hands, like left hand, right hand, and so you don't lose you don't lose them. My face right now inside is basically like that. I'm just panicking because I don't know if I broke the toy or not. But don't worry, it's fine. I think it's fine. So finally, after much trouble, here is the aqua with the pose that I wanted. So she's gonna boom and hit you. And now I'm gonna take a photo with all three of them together. And I'm gonna put everything in that bag. That's really useful. So after opening all these, I feel like I'm probably not suited to make Figmas, mainly because it's like, it's complicated. <laughs> While um, the Good Smile stuff seems to be a lot easier. And voila, see? Nice and clean. You've got everything from Aqua, from the Figma in here. And then now I can toss all this away. I'm gonna keep the instructions because this one was a lot more, not complicated, just had more parts. So I'm gonna open these two in another episode, mainly because this episode took a lot longer than I thought because I didn't know how to put them together. So here's a small clip of the figurine so far. So over here, we can see Aqua with her like, oh my God, look needs help she's 
We've got our little staff over here. We've got Shiro, who's just like, get me out of here, playing on her cell phone. And finally, we've got Fiery Aqua, who's like, oh my god. And she's also was like doing her fiery punch thing. That's pretty cool. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with all three. But if I were to buy more collectibles in the future, I think I'm just going to stick with the Nendroids. The Nendroids are a lot easier to put together. I'm a big fan of like the big chibi head type of art. The only thing I liked about the Figmas from Max Factory was that they gave the little plastic bag at the end so that I could put all the parts. I really wish, um, you know, Good Smile over here would do the same. I wouldn't have this mess over here with all the little pieces. I'd be neat and organized like that, you know? But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be opening up these two big ones in the next video. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels, the 